Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I thought you could come along on a day with me in my studio. I'm going to attempt to make a coat. <laughs> I've had this planned for a very long time and it's just been one of those projects that I've never got round to and haven't found the time. Um, and now that it's autumn and I'm trying to find the perfect coat this year, I thought, why not try and make it first? <laughs> I'm also wearing my very cosy brushed cotton blouse, which is available on my website at the moment, if you're interested in it. It's in this beautiful paisley print with cuffs and nice puff sleeves, and I've got a thermal underneath it, and usually in the studio I have to wear a jumper, but this is cosy enough as a layer um, with the thermal under it for, for me to just wear as it is. Yesterday I popped out to find the right thread colour for the fabric and so today I have zero excuse not to make this coat and I'm hoping I can finish it today because it shouldn't take too long, I say that, it may take longer but yesterday I worked on the pockets and the sleeves so I'm a little bit ahead of myself um, so yeah We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna insert a little bit of footage of me cutting out the pattern because I find this very satisfying to watch. And hopefully for those of you interested in patterns, you will kind of get an idea of the shape and the style of the coat. So that was me cutting out the pattern and now I'm going to show you the actual design of the coat and how far I've got up to so far. So I'm basing this coat off the shape and the size of the one I made at uni. Um, this one was in my final collection and I just really liked how big and oversized it was um, and I'm changing a few bits like the back. This won't be here, it will just be a big belt that goes all the way around and the front pockets will be a different shape um, and I'm still not going to have any fastenings down the front because I quite like keeping it clean. So here's a rough little sketch of what the coat will look like. Um, very similar to the one from uni but just basically a bit more of a simple version. I am a little bit nervous for when it gets to the collar and lapel construction because I haven't done that in about two years so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I just it just clicks and I remember it. So these are the sleeves I was working on yesterday because I didn't need the specific thread colour just yet. So I need to attach the cuffs to the sleeve. I decided to line them with a little bit of a floral cotton fabric just to add a bit of interest. And so yeah, these need to be finished off. Also made a start on the pockets. So those will hopefully go on nicely when I get round to doing that bit. Now I'm going to work on the back of the coat. So this is the top part of the back and the back has a big pleat at the top. So I need to figure out um, where that is and pin it in place. And then I can attach the main part of the back to this back yoke here. There we go. So I'm just gonna go and sew that along the top and then I'm gonna attach this to that. So for that I will just put good sides together and sew along like that. Ok 
Okay, the back is now finished. Um, my top stitching is a little bit questionable and that is really annoying me. Um, but hopefully it won't look too bad from afar. Oh, it's just like the tiniest bit off and it really bugs me. Anyway, the back's done and I just went and attached the two front pieces. So the front pieces are on now and I just top stitched over the shoulder seam. That went much better. And I also um, attached the facings together and added some overlocking around the raw edges. And so now I'm going to attach this facing to the front. But with the facing, you only sew up to a certain point on the lapel, which I've marked with a little notch because the rest is going to be attached with the collar. So that can all be sewn all the way down to the bottom and then we will get on with the collar. The lapels are on and I am very happy with how they've turned out. It's got a nice neat curve to them and I just went and sewed a little bit of the collar. So for the collar you sew along the top a little bit on the outer edge and then you leave it where the notch starts on the lapel. And so that's going to be attached around there and up to here, just like that. But I'm going to go and have a quick break before I do this because this can get a bit stressful. So the lapel and collar are now attached and it took me a little while but I'm happy with how it's turned out. The next stage is going to be to sew up the side seams and then I'm going to decide the placement of my pockets and then we can get the sleeves on. I'm currently trying to get the placement for the pocket right. So I've just been pinning it against the coat whilst wearing it. And I think I've got the right spot now because it's nice and relaxed from this height and not too close to the edge of the back and not too close to the front either. So I think I'm going to go stitch this one on and then I can match the position on the other side and stitch the other one on. It's just so Both pockets are now attached and now I'm going to try and attach the sleeve. Okay guys, the coat is finished. I am so happy with it. It's always really nice trying it on with an actual outfit that you would wear it with. The belt turned out to be the perfect width and I love the way it looks at the back when it's just sort of relaxed and not done up. And then it looks good done up too with the belt. Um, so yeah, I'm just very proud of myself for making this. It's kind of a better full length of coat let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm now off out to take some photos in this so if you want to see those they'll be up on my instagram and yeah i hope you're all having a great day and i will see you in my next video